Welcome to the Firing Squad Podcast, where four guys talk about blazing hot topics that they discuss when no one else is around. No fluff, no bull. They tell it like it is. And now, here is the squad. Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? Once again, it's another episode of Firing Squad Pie. We got the usual suspects today. This is your boy, Ham. We got Lance in the studio as well. What up? We got Rope. We back. Yo, we got Creepmore. Yo, what's good? Yep, and we got Lyle's hopefully not riding dirty. You in the vehicle today? Hey, hey I'm like actually in my garage right now just sitting in the car because y'all said I sounded so clear. Oh, yeah. word. Is the engine off and are the windows cracked? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> engine is off and the windows are down thank you thank there you, you. <laughs> nice 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 yeah it sounds clear man right. hey you, you get, you get just looking you, out man you know you get what you pay for <laughs> what they say ain't it? right well unless you're flying united <laughs> yeah right because <laughs> <laughs> i don't think as yeah. was on the <laughs> on the drop down box on the website <laughs> on that disclaimer <laughs> first class round trip ass whipping <laughs> We gonna get into that. He had a window seat too. He had, he had a, a window, window seat? seat too. So they right. drug him over somebody. Yeah, he had a window seat. <laughs> That's how that nose got broke yeah. up. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so you know that yeah, bitch right. had to drag him across a couple of seats to get his ass out. <laughs> <laughs> right. I still don't understand how he broke his nose, and I mean, he wasn't dragging him like that, was it? Uh, man, the way he was shrieking. Yeah, they they had to be doing something, man. They, they got blood out of him. But, a grown man shriek like that in real life. How many how many of y'all would have traded places with him, knowing what you know now? Traded places with like him. if I knew I was gonna if yeah. I knew I was gonna get to come up after it. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would take it, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, well, we on a podcast right now, and as I mentioned before, you guys can't see us. When I'm six three, like two twenty five, black man, dark skin with no hair, I'm not the demographic to be trying that shit. They'd have been like, oh, "Let's try some right. 3D." Right. I just don't get those kind of opportunities to come up. <laughs> Let's see if three D three D come up off the seat. They would have passed over you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's actually that's actually that's actually a good question. I mean, do you think that they they jacked him up like that because they looked at him and said, you know what, we can do this. If it had to been, like yeah. you said, Ham, if it had been you in that seat, they would have approached that completely different. No, yeah, think, they would have approached yeah. it different. Hell yeah, they would have approached it different. He would have had a, a, a taser. Being aggressive, you take high you, you take uh, high percentage shots. And a white woman, this is not the day and time for that. You know, white man, they always got to pass. Big black dude probably wasn't even on the plane. But an Asian dude, you think he's going to be submissive and be like, oh, 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 oh okay, whatever. Play that language barrier, try to flex on your uniform and think he's gonna get up, but hey, man, wrong. <laughs> hey, y'all see the dude's legal team though? Uh uh-uh. uh, yeah, his le- no, the dude about to get some money now. First of all, didn't they slander him with the wrong uh, what they were saying he's Chinese? No, no, they uh-huh. they said dude had all kind of skeletons in his closet, but they but it was another doctor. Oh, what, what, y'all didn't hear that? Uh-uh. It was another doctor. So, so, what happened was right after they started digging up dirt. Like United's uh, legal social media team or whatever, they was like, yeah, you know, this dude had a sketchy past of this, this, this. He has this on his record, this on his record. Nah, it was like Chow Dow's son or instead of Jun or something like wow. that. And so it was the wrong person. So they for a twenty four hour period they slandered the doctor because they oh, refused. Wow. Because oh, they confused his name. Oh, that true. The yeah, other one about to get paid too. Yeah, like no, Randy. Yeah, they see, Randy. Said they all look like it's got to be him. <laughs> and shout out to ACG. And nah, Amber they Candace said the dude was. He was. He was. Giving away oxycotton for sex with men. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? They went off the fucking deep end. Not say that. Look, man, you lie. Because I think Amber no Candace way. retweeted they that. They did not say that. Dude, Give away oxycotton. Yes, they did. Hey, I'm gonna have to drink some of this moonshine I got in here. Dude, it was a complete. It was a complete oh, wrong dude, Roper. Now tell me he not about. He about to but get my, paid extra, extra, yeah. extra. My thing is, is that. <laughs> I'm, I'm about my thing is though is like why does that my thing is is why does that always matter why do they always try to why do they always try to slander the victim and oh, try to make it like yeah, oh he was this this that and so it's not it's still not okay no because their it's narrative the is that he was it's like sick justific- it's the sick justification yeah their narrative is he was like violent not or you know he's disruptive and and uh just acting a fool when those videos showed otherwise. Now, all I know is that he good because his legal – so dude, his two-man legal team who had their press conference day, one specializes in 
uh, like settling, mm-hmm. like just okay. getting just getting it done. The other one specializes in suing corporations and aviation. In aviation, yeah, he has how, aviation how, experience. How damn specific can you get? Exactly, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Didn't come, they didn't come for no games. That ain't no damn dial all nines <laughs> or or a one call. That's all. Or yeah. Akeem Anastapulo or something. So you got your you dream got, team. <laughs> like we could settle for a lot, or we could just pursue it. So, for a lot. so we were on social media on Facebook, and uh, shout out to Jason and Crow Anderson. You know, one of my favorite cues, wonderful father, great football yeah. coach, and everything. Awesome dude. But yep. he got some information from some flight attendants. And can anybody just kind of like, you know, just give a recap so I don't have to read this damn novel of a post of what Lord he was saying? Mercy, man. She was going all kind of in. Well, what did it, what was the term? Dead, dead, dead what? Head. What did they call it? Dead yeah. head or something like that. Dead heading. Was it dead? So, dead heading. So I think that I, 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 just to get to the general point of what she was trying to say, I guess what they do is, is that on each flight, they have another crew that has to travel on that flight in order to, I guess, get to the next site and be the crew on the next site. Mm-hmm. And so they overbooked the flight because they, I guess, didn't know that they were going to have to have this deadhead crew on the flight. So they had those four seats. They sold those four seats not knowing that they were going to have to have this crew on the flight. So that's how they oversold the flight. That's why the dude had to get pulled off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then... And so... <clears throat> go ahead, Ham. No, and I was just saying, like, and so with that sentiment, you know, the flight attendants that responded on Jason's uh, post were like, you know, they're company women because that's what they do. Just like anybody with a company... If you for your company, you see what I'm saying? They're just like... Well, it's just by the book. You know, it is how it is. And, you know, I'm sure they're going to make that $5 million back. And, and he should. They were, they were just a real matter of fact, you know, taking all emotion, you know, any kind of, you know, human rights thing out of the situation. And so we wanted to just uh, kind of address their sentiment versus what we really think about the situation. Yeah, don't nobody care about it. I don't care nothing about what y'all got to do for work. Yeah. And, 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 and the thing about it is we got some business owners. We got some people in management here as well. Yeah. And one thing we all know is theoretically the customer is supposed to always be right, even though they're wrong, you know, a lot right. of the times. But one thing customers don't give a shit about is the intricacies of why this happened. And then explaining right. why is not a, a is not conflict, res, is not, you know, resolving the issue for the customer. So the fact that these flight attendants on Jason's post – and I'm going to find her names in a second. I think she was being a little melodramatic because she was going through what goes through her mind like before a flight. Like if the plane catch on fire, I got to worry about who can hear, who can see. That's who also can touch. what I don't give a damn about. Yeah, right. Who got where the exit signs is. I like, it. come on, seriously. And, and, and just, let's just be real. I'm more concerned about having my seat built on in my Jeep 2005 Jeep Cherokee than on an airplane. Because if we nose diving, bitch, like that seat belt ain't saving I'm shit. I'm more worried about. <laughs> Are you serving drinks? Yeah. Or is and my, how soon are you going to get them out? Is my ginger ale warm? How about that? Yeah. How about that? But <laughs> my thing is, yeah, because my thing is, is that my thing is, is okay. You gave your explanation. You told us about the deadheads or whatever. Okay. I get it. Yet at the same time, if you do that, like you're saying, Ham, from a corporation standpoint, from a United standpoint, okay. Okay. You did that, but. You need to be the one to eat that, not me. I I don't need to give my seat up because you overbooked the flight because of some shit like that happened. Like United need to be okay. We got to put this crew on another plane. Yeah. I, like you said, I only care about I paid for this seat. I purchased this seat. I'm on the plane because the thing is, is that when you're traveling and you all we all travel or not, when you're trying to get home or get to wherever you're trying to get to, you're trying to get to that. Like if I bought a plane ticket. And it gets me into somewhere at five o'clock. That's because I need to be in that town at five o'clock to get to wherever I'm trying to get to, you know, later. I can't get there at midnight or 10 or whatever. I bought that specific flight because that's when I need to be in that city. So you can't compromise with me outside of that. So let, you me, know? T- let me tell I, you what her I'm rebuttal to- what her rebuttal is going to be to you then on the post. She put, well, it's just it's just a few customers, a few uh, a few customers. But there, since the other crew can't get there, they're going to uh, run the risk of having a whole another whole plane for the people not being able to get to their destination on time. So that's her that's her rebuttal. 
No, here I'm telling you in the whole. That's not my problem. And yeah, and the whole thing about like what's going through your mind before a flight. Quit being melodramatic. Because here's the thing. I'm gonna read it to you. The odds of a plane crash are one for every 1.2 million flights. With odds of dying one in 11 million. Your chances of dying in a car (laughs) or traffic accident are one in 5,000. Even if you are aboard one of the 1.2 million flights that crash. 95.7% 95.7% of the passengers survive. So, again, so sh- miss me on all of that. So, shout out to all our crossing guards and highway patrolmen. We really thank you for our safety. Exactly. Like, come on. Even though y'all ain't serving y'all, drinks. But you know they ain't worried about none of that <laughs> stuff. Because they be half-assing going through the instructions on how to put the damn mask on. Yeah. And the floating device. <laughs> 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 You're right. And check it out. And so the dude's apology was garbage. Let me tell you why. He shouldn't apologize, though. No, this is what he should have done in his apology. He, he should have said, look, this incident has has uprooted or uh, uncovered some serious management issues that we've been getting away with in the past because something hasn't come to head this serious. So we've been doing this, uh, you know, get off the flight. And, you know, there's something we're going to have to definitely address from this point on. He didn't even go there. Like what did what did he say? He blamed did he blame the dude? Yeah, he or? blamed the dude at first and said, Yeah. Yeah. He shouldn't have said he nothing. He shouldn't have said he shouldn't have said nothing. Are you talking about the actual nothing. apology or the tweet he sent out shortly after the incident he, went um First of all, old okay. people need to stay did the hell off Twitter, number one. He man. He's destroying your business. But here's the thing though. So he shouldn't apologize. Do you think he should apologize? No. You, who thinks he should apologize? Which one? The the CEO. So the dude who got pulled off the plane? No, the, the CEO. Off the, the CEO. Plane? The CEO. No, M- M- Munez or whatever yeah. his name is. If that's your pop, I mean, yeah. okay, if you're going by if you're going by what the flight attendant said, how she's trying to defend it, if that's your policy and that's your thing, then no, you shouldn't apologize. Well, my thing is he okay. He should apologize for the the um the the, the way passen- the passenger getting hurt on his plane. Because as soon yeah. as he apologized, if you yeah. listen to that yeah. attorney today, yeah. he uses his apology as guilt. That's why he shouldn't have said shit. Ah, because now you. he's basically saying they admitted that they were wrong. So got we you. know we're right. So he shouldn't have said nothing. So that's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Mm-hmm. I'd much rather take the backlash on Twitter for not apologizing than the legal backlash that he about to get got for you. admitting guilt by saying we were wrong. Mm-hmm. What if I told y'all, what if I told y'all that the current CEO of United was the former CEO of Pepsi. <laughs> Shut up. You, you can't make this up. <laughs> did, you, did you just make this up? Because, no way. No, because that is 100% accurate. Wow. Are you serious? Oh, serious. I'm, wow. I, I'm a thousand percent serious. See, this is why we have a podcast, because all this damning information, I was not going <laughs> to type on that damn thread to y'all. I want y'all to wow. listen to this and just feel this burn. Wow. Damn. What's your name? What's your name? I can't find it. But, but either way. Yeah, either you, way. it sounds like you have a fun job. If you know, you get to travel for free. <laughs> Save us with all the Fredrina right? The world coming to an end. And you have to make sure that everybody, you know, you know who can see and feel and hear. And Sika Jenkins? Yeah. Everybody and then she tried to come for gun too though. Yeah, I don't know why you tried to come for Anton yeah, doing that bullshit. Like, like, like yeah. he ain't a, yeah, I think she started breaking up. Is, if it's the same one, then she break up um, the Delta Airlines incident no, or something. Well, like no, that. she was trying to play him like he he should be on cheaper flights because that's who is uh, you know like everybody has everybody can't go to Louis Vuitton. You know, is basically what she was saying to him. And they were if they're like a, a high or a top notch, um, more luxury brand airline. Then it's not for everybody. So if you want to be cheap, then go to a cheap airline. That's, that's probably accurate because ain't Barney's a high end store and they treat minorities like shit too. But what Gunn was saying is that y'all are not, y'all are y'all are the most expensive. Not because of the value y'all give. You are right? Yeah. Because when I hear somebody be like, if you heard somebody like, yeah, you know, I'm flying in United, you'd be like, so what? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> I told you, real ballers have hey. private jets because them Spirit Airlines right. is garbage too, and they they beat you over the head. They save you a little bit on the on the ticket, but then but once they, you try to check in everything. everything. It's the same price. Yeah. Yeah, that shit like that shit like do you want to board first? Extra fifteen dollars. Are you gonna check a bag? You gonna carry on the bag, extra ten dollars. Man, do the you carry want on the fucking complimentary on spirit. Do you want the fucking pretzels? Two dollars. Like <laughs> I'm telling you, I seen the dude, we was coming back from Vegas. My man had you have to check you have to pay for a carry on, fifty five dollars. And then here this is where they get you. Both you, ways? 